Following on from the last video of the Wildens patent music stand, I thought we'd uh, have a look at another form of portable music stand. As you can see, this one folds down to a very compact bar form, but um, the design and the engineering on it are really very neat. So let's have a look at it. So if we open the outer case here, which forms our rest at the bottom, we've got a number of different sections which are fixed together on a brass rivet through the three sections to allow them to easily fold. So the middle bar, which is slightly smaller than the front bar, fits into a slot on the rest here. So let's put that one in there. And the same for the other side. So our foot, which is on the back here, and that all fits into the nice into the central section. If we get a fingernail in there, we can pull that down. Then we can pull this section out, which will fit into one of these three holes to get your angle. So there we go. That sits down very nicely. Now these top bars are adjustable depending on the size of your music, your sheet music. If you've got uh, a tall piece of sheet music, you can have it up like that. If you've got a small sheet, you can fold it down like that and it'll support it all the much more better. As we can see with this rather nice early 19th century watercolour of an officer of the Bengal artillery, it holds it very well indeed. Now this one is probably mid 19th century. It's made of walnut. Um, we've seen them in other woods, uh, mahogany, satin wood. And um, I think they were made over quite a long period of time. You can't really say it's a rare uh, piece of uh, kit. Most antique dealers I would have thought would have seen at least one in their lifetime. We've probably had two or three in stock over the 20 years, but it is, a wonderful piece of engineering. Everything is very neat. Um, the joints are really tight, so it still works really well. And it, uh, the design is so clever that it folds very neatly. And it's for small touches on these things that sometimes just go the extra step and really make it a great piece of kit. Without um, this little pin, which we can see here, the case would easily move around but we've got a corresponding hole here and that pin just fits neatly in there and it's just enough to hold the two outer parts of the case together to stop it moving around during travel so for a traveling musician this is a very useful piece of kit it would easily fit into the case of their musical instrument and they could set it up on a table and uh, entertain the guests at the party so there you go, a music stand made of walnut, um, mid-19th century.